So I haven't done one of these story videos in a long time, I suppose. I actually haven't done them in maybe over a year, but might as well bring them back during Fortnite. I know it's been like quite some time. It's been over a year that Fortnite's been out and I haven't done one of these either. So yeah, Fortnite's really consumed my life. But this is like an old story that I used to say or I used to tell way back when. Uh, it, it's, it's still funny because I still get comments on that old video today, but I feel like just retelling it to all the new subscribers because it was one of the most funny moments I've had but also most terrifying at the same time. It, it, it was it involved my dad as well. So my dad likes pulling pranks on people. And let me tell you, it is not always a good time to be on the other end of his pranks. Hey, can you hold this real quick, buddy? Oh, no. This guy is literally... I don't think he has that much meds. Yeah, that, I'm sorry. My dad has a tendency of just pulling pranks on as much people as he could possibly do. He is still a kid at heart, which is awesome. But at the same time, it, it, it's terrifying because you never know if it's a prank or not because I was, I believe I was in my freshman year of college at the time and he, he decided to uh, help me with my real estate exam. So I was doing some real estate stuff uh, on the side of that during the weekend. So I'd do like an eight hour class on top of YouTube and all that stuff. But I ended up going to Starbucks and like just, I guess, studying. So I just studied there with him, uh, I guess every once, once a week or so for about three or four hours. And we would just sit there and study, study, study. It was a pain in the butt doing all that work, but hey, it eventually got done. Ooh, yoink. Don't mind if I do. I swear I heard someone back here, so I think we're just gonna go investigate. Okay, there he is. Yep, you got it. Honestly, he looked like this guy. So let me give you the setting of this area. So we are in a crowded Starbucks on an afternoon. This afternoon, there's a lot of work people in there. There's a lot of people either studying for classes as well. I was there to study my real estate exam that I was taking uh, for the state of New Jersey. And basically, I was doing five classes of college and then I did on the weekend, eight hours of a real estate class. So I was taking it pretty seriously on top of all the YouTube that I've been doing. And my dad would help me study because he studied for things like this often. All right. I'm coming for you, Jimmy. Jimmy McDonald's. Mr. Nagops, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Basically, in this crowded area, I'm studying for this exam. I've been spending three or four hours uh, just studying with my dad because he does help me out with all that stuff. And then something happened. We're just sitting there studying, and this gigantic human being. Th there, there's literally. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show that guy right there. This guy, he looked like this man, just a little bit more muscular and maybe skinnier. But this guy right here was the man that walked in and say like that's his girlfriend very very skinny tall blonde petite girl so she was gorgeous of course right you know gotta gotta admire human features so she was outstandingly gorgeous along with this huge guy who didn't fit through the doorway and this man let me tell you was like like he walked in and everyone just stopped and where everyone's just sitting there just like oh, what just happened did, did, like is this jesus is this the messiah so he walks in and I'm like, yikes, that's crazy. And then before I, I observe something, and what I observed is something that will come back and later in the story that will, that will kind of almost get me in trouble with this guy. But anyway, sir, I'm trying to tell a story here. You don't have to shoot me. It's a, it's a family friendly event. Oh no. Bodied. Bodied. I'm sitting there studying. My dad goes, yeah, I got to go to the bathroom. I'll be back. I'm going to um, just keep doing this and we'll test you on the like when I come back. And I go, okay, sounds good. 
Um, I'm sitting there drinking, drinking my coffee, studying, doing whatever. A few moments go by, and, I, and I, I'm, I'm like, so if if you were, let, let's say, let's do something like this. It, I was, I was here. The entrance is right here. There's like a little, a little glass door. We'll put two windows there, and let me break them with this tree. And then I also had, let's say, this is this is a full glass window right here. I'm sitting right here. I see this man walk by with his girl. They're, they're walking by in like this. Someone holds the door for him. Someone right here goes, oh, Sheboygan. And then they walk in. Okay, so glass window. Then you, then you check out right here. You check out like, like, hi, may I take your order? Welcome to Burger King. So then this person decided to just walk behind me, this gigantic person. He's walked behind me and I see his reflection in this, this window. And I'm like, this is gonna get weird. So this man decides to walk behind me. I'm just sitting there minding my own business. He taps me on the shoulder. Very, very, very tough tap. All right. The very tough. He was like, it was like a, like he was trying to see if I was alive or something. I turn around. And I go, hello. You know, because I'm sarcastic. Yay! What up, brother? So basically, this guy just comes up behind me, taps me, and he goes, where, he like literally yells. He goes, were you looking at my girlfriend? In the middle of Starbucks, people are trying to do their work. This man yells, and I'm just sitting there in awe. I'm like, I'm about to die. And little did I know that my smart ass self was gonna come into play, where I was like, no, and I almost had a heart attack. I, I literally, because I didn't know what to do there, and then I just kind of just said things, and after I got done saying things, <laughs> Other things happen. Oh my god, that bee hop. This kid's watched a summer skirmish or two. That's awkward. <laughs> I think I just jacked my kill.
But yeah, that man was quite terrifying. My dad came out from behind the counter and literally just started dying of laughter. And I was just like almost about to cry. And I was sitting there just like, what the heck just happened? And this man literally, he went back to his, his, he was a good sport, went back to his girlfriend or whatever it was and just ordered their crap and left. And I was just sitting there like, I can't study. But it was the most awkward thing in my life, and honestly, he's done way worse than that, and I will probably tell those stories more often. If you guys want to see more, definitely drop a like and comment down below if you do. If not, then I'll, I'll just stop telling stories, okay? But anyway, I'm Avery, and I'm out.